Well, the council have basically seemed to have made up their mind that Hank is a pit bull. They have told me that on a couple of occasions. I believe the mistake comes from the grey area within the legislation. The legislation is so vague and abstract. And, and what do you believe he is, Joanne? What breed were you told he was when you got him? OK, he was a Staffordshire Bull Terrier mixed with Lab, Labrador. Yeah. And where did you get him from, Joanne? Um, it was a friend of a friend, um, no contact or anything since, so I'm not sure. So we're just looking at pictures of Hank as a puppy, yeah. he's absolutely gorgeous. But so. if he does turn out to be a pit bull, um, a dangerous dog, mm -hmm. will you accept the council's ruling and decision on this? No, absolutely not. And we are sure as much as we can be that he's not a pit bull. Yeah, but say, say he is a pit yeah. bull, they're going to do tests to find yes. out. That will determine also his temperament. That test will be done at the same time. And that is when the real argument begins because of judging the aggressiveness of what they deem to be a banned breed would not be in line with judging the aggressiveness of a non banned breed dog. Um, Leonard, the, the dog was taken um, by, by council officials from your home when you weren't there and they legally yes. could do that. Somebody must have complained, I'm, I'm assuming. Why do you think that is? What is the dog's temperament? What's his behaviour been like? He's technically still a puppy. He isn't two years old. He barks at people walking past in the street and that is something we were working to try and remove. If I had to guess, I would say that has been the case. And Joanne, he's never shown any aggressive behaviour outside the home? He's never attacked anybody? Or... No. No, no, not at all, never. Okay. Never. Okay. Um, we've got in the studio with us a, a vet. This is Roger Mugford. Good morning, Roger. Hello. And we've got lovely Bella with you today. Um, what well, you say is... lovely Bella, but well... lovely Bella's got a muzzle on yeah. as well. Why, why would Bella... And, Roger, you are the man. You are the god of animal psychology and whatever. And if you've got a dog with a, a, a muzzle on, I am worried. No, that's, it, it's wearing a muzzle because, technically speaking, we're in a public place here right. in these ITV studios. And dogs, all dogs, including Hank, have to wear, um, if, they, if Hank's determined to be a pit bull, has to wear a muzzle at all times, even in the owner's car. And, it, of course, this is insane. Bella here is the sweetest dog on the planet. I've only known her. So is Bella her. a pit bull? Well, she's, she was deemed by the Metropolitan Police in London to be a pit bull. But having met her, I believe that she is a Labrador cross with a Wiesla, which is what their owner thought when he adopted this little puppy. So what is the fate of your dog? I'm sorry, why would that be any different than our guests in Belfast? It'll be exactly the same. And the, the Leonard and his partner are going down exactly the same route as the owner of this dog. Um, this dog is one of thousands that have been seen mostly crossbreeds. Uh, we believe from studies done with DNA um, uh, studies in the United States that barely a quarter of all the dogs that are seized as, or said to be pit bull types are actually, have any do relatedness you... to a pit bull. OK, but do you do understand, Roger, the people's fear about these dogs? Now, we've, we've got a rescue dog, and when we were looking for a rescue dog, there yeah. were lots of kind of bull terrier type, staffy well, type cross dogs yeah, yeah. and I've met lots of, of these dogs with their owners who with all no tell owners. me they're gorgeous and they're lovely. I have to be honest, I would not have adopted one because they still frighten me because I would worry that they do have the traits possibly of some kind of pit bull. So no. is this their fate that if they look even remotely like a pit bull, you must understand officials have to kind of protect the public and therefore pick them up from the streets or whatever and, and determine if they are a pit bull the, or not. The Belfast City Council um, employees can't be criticised for trying to uh, enact or try to enforce a law which is insane, which has no basis in science, where if we could just as well forbid all people who are <clears throat> baldies, mm -hmm. red-haired, long-eared, or something like that, you know. So it goes back to the worst kind of racial stereotyping of humans. Uh, but well, this except, time, applied except, to dogs. 